Afterburner 2 for the Sega Genesis. This is one of those must-have game cartridges for your Genesis or Mega Drive. It's simply one of the best games on the console, period. And while it's not exactly outrun with airplanes, in many ways it feels like it, and that's a good thing. This is from designer Yu Suzuki, who also developed Outrun and Hang On, among many other popular Sega arcade games. Afterburner 2 has that gameplay style and feel of many of Sega's best arcade games, like Hang On and Outrun. One of the best looking Genesis games as well. This review doesn't do it justice because recording from the Sega Genesis is quite a challenge when I want to record the optimal audio and video quality because the Genesis does not like to talk to my video editing equipment at all. Therefore I have to bypass it with a VCR downgrading the quality. I play this on a Sega Genesis modified with S-Video on an HDTV and it looks beautiful. It looks like it may as well be a high definition release. The frame rate is silky smooth and while there's some dropout here and there in some of the busy sections, it's, it's just a wonderful game to watch and play. The arcade machine was pretty awesome too, released in 1987. This version for the Genesis is copyright 1990. Similar to Outrun, you're scored by how far you can get in the game and also you get points for blowing up enemies. You can lock onto them. Maneuvering the plane is a little tricky and it certainly does not handle like a real airplane. This is a very arcade style driving slash flying game. You highlight enemies with the little cursor on screen and then you can launch numerous missiles at them. You can also machine gun enemies, but unlike games such as Omega Boost, you can't hold down the button and lock on 10 enemies at once, then unleashing that huge Robotech style mass of missiles at them. You can't do that, although I kind of wish you could. Another thing you cannot do in this game is transform into a giant robot or a half robot, half uh, airplane battleoid thing. The only thing that bothers me about Afterburner, other than the fact you can't transform into a giant robot, is the fact that they show an F-15 on the Sega Genesis game cartridge, but the airplane in the game is an F-14. While most people will cite Top Gun as the greatest showcase of F-14s in cinema, I'm going to have to direct you to the final countdown. Not nearly as well known, but the scenes where the F-14s are blowing up World War II era Japanese Zeros are absolutely priceless. That has nothing to do with this game except the whole concept of an aircraft carrier going back in time to 1941 is, is just brilliant. So is this game, except you're not blowing up World War II aircraft, you're blowing up mindless hordes of enemy Harriers and somewhat familiar looking planes that explode uh, nicely. You do not have an unlimited supply of missiles, although it sort of feels like it right up until the point when you run out. I don't even have to mention that the music in Afterburner 2 is some of the most memorable music from the Genesis. It's been a few years since I played this game and the instant the title screen came up I said yeah, I remember that. I played this game a lot. It's so smooth and colorful. If you're getting into the Genesis or Mega Drive games and you've never played Afterburner 2, put this one on your list. I have Afterburner 1 for the Master System, although it's been many, many years since I played that at a friend's house back in the day. I'll be revisiting that game soon for classic game room. This particular game showcases everything that the Genesis can do well. Other flight games like F-22 Interceptor are the complete opposite. I'll be looking at that one soon. 
I can't believe this game was not on the Sonic's Ultimate Collection, by the way. If you're restocking your library of Sega Genesis game cartridges, you're in luck. Afterburner 2 is very easy to find. This was a very popular game back in the day. It's not one of the least expensive games, but you'll probably find it for 5 or 10 bucks out there depending on whether or not it comes with the box and the condition of the cartridge itself. Not much else I can say. This is pure Sega Genesis perfection here. Afterburner 2. Pick it up.